viewers today we will be talking about pharmacoeconomics and cost utility analysis but before we proceed let me refresh your knowledge that uh, pharmacoeconomics is a process of health division that I, that identifies measures and compare the cost and resources consumed as we talked about in the previous lectures that the services being rendered at pharmaceutical care units are compared versus the resources being utilized and this is a process of effective utilization and we talked about the decision of the lemma matrix and now you are quite familiar with that 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 that, that on y axis the outcomes are plotted and on x axis the costs are called or plotted so you are quite familiar with that then uh, we talked about cost benefit analysis and the technical point was that when you are going to start an immunization program or a pharmacokinetic program so here there is no comparison here is the only that the outcomes are measured in the in the in the in the in the monetary terms and the resources of course used they are already in the monetary term so this was just to refresh your cost benefit analysis then we talked about cost utility analysis you see and cost utility uh, cost effectiveness analysis we talked about so, and regarding that in cost effectiveness analysis we talked that intervention a and intervention b are compared within the same physical units so this was just to refresh your uh, previous knowledge and then we gave an example that there is the effectiveness of a therapy of treatment modality a and treatment modality b this is the effectiveness and that is effectiveness mean that the life expectancy gains per year uh, we have discussed that in detail in the previous lecture. This was just to refresh your knowledge that how cost utility analysis is correlated with cost effectiveness analysis. So if we insert another column here, you see on the right, and here we use the concept of utility. Utility. So that will be that will be that will be cost utility analysis. So let me discuss what is cost utility analysis. So cost utility analysis uh, is uh, that here we use the concept of utility and what is utility utility you see as a product of the life expectancy gain is in the cost effect analysis and we are going to go going to going to multiply uh, utility with, with the life expectancy gains or the cost uh, or, or the effectiveness of the therapy as we said and the ultimate unit will be kale and what is kale kale is the quality adjusted life year and this is a modern terminology that we are going to use. But for that, you have to understand what is utility. So utility uh, is represented by this uh, magnitude starting from here till here. And then the left side is representing the depth, that is the zero value. And the one value is a very perfect value, mean there is a perfect health. And your patient, whether you are going to use intervention A or intervention B, it's up to you that how you are going to use these different Different, different modalities, but in case of cost utility analysis, you have to plot the utility index here, and you have to plot the utility index of this B therapy and the utility index of therapy A. You see, so in therapy, let's say in therapy A, the utility index is plotted here, and in therapy B, the utility index may be here, and as it represents the health status of a patient. Therefore, these values are usually usually expressed as the mayor in terms of the patient preferences this is a technical point to remember so you are not going to interpret this this is what the patient is going to interpret this this is a technical point to remember for example you have started uh, the same cost effect analysis is now if we plot a utility here one column here so what is important important is that you multiply the effectiveness with the utility this is what we talked about in the previous in the previous uh, uh, slide so for this 3.5 multiplied by 0.9 and 4.5 will be multiplied with a 0.8. Now the question is that what is the utility of 0.8 for this treatment B? Of course, this may be as we refer to if we are going to uh, draw a magnitude of utility here. So it is at 0.8 level is here. 0.8 is here, and a utility line of this is here. And remember, this side tell you the perfect head, and this side tell you the depth. So, so zero mean death and this one mean perfect health. So here at point nine mean it is here. It is a bit ahead than the point eight. You see. So what is important and this can be point in case of this uh, therapy B. It depends on the patient preferences. It may be nine. It may be one perfect health that the patient is perfectly covered, and this will be this is what you will be determining from the patient follow. -up. So these sort of sort of methodologies are used. In, the, in oncology, especially when the patient quality of life is being followed 
decide the clinical resolution of the particular disease or clinical resolution of symptoms of particular disease. What important is to note that incremental cost utility analysis issue, as we talked about in the previous, it is just an addendum to the previous uh, calculation, previous slide in cost effectiveness analysis. Here we multiply with respect to therapy this one, uh, 4.5, the life expectancy gain, and then 0 0.8 uh, is the utility, and perhaps this 0 0.8 is due to the more nauseating effect of a therapy. You can come across with any other adverse effects, and, and the, net, the, net, the net preference of the patient will decide the utility uh, utility of a uh, um, different treatment modality like treatment A or treatment B. I hope now you understand because this is why this is important. This there is no skepticism by the econometrists and there is no skepticism by the health professional groups. So that is why the, it is globally acceptable and is being practiced in technologically advanced countries. I hope you understand this.